a cock 45 here yep you're looking at some polymer wonder in a Glock 19 Gen 4 yeah I guess I've been kind of slow getting around to the uh, the Gen 4 and the Glock 19 I just had others that I wanted to uh, take a look at and, and shoot uh, more than this one I have two or three Glock 19s if you count John's so I uh, wasn't necessarily chomping at the bit to uh, to really review a Glock 19 uh, again one of the most popular handguns pistols on the planet I suppose but anyway we've got the the Gen 4 here and this gun has not been fired you take a look inside there you might be able to tell that for seeing if I can clean one up right uh, but I I do a pretty good job of cleaning my Glocks but I don't think I get them quite that clean very often and uh, this one is now I don't know whatever test firing I guess it's been test fired but it's not been fired other than that and it uh, I've had it actually for about a week and a half it's just been bad weather and other things we wanted to do and I intentionally did not get out and fire it I almost did one day but I was uh, I don't know I just restrained myself I decided on this one that I would uh, fire it the first time on camera uh, I know there's been a lot of uh, discussion about the Glock 19 Gen 4 on the uh, the gun forums and I've seen some of that I've asked questions and uh, I've been curious about it too and uh, so I asked Glock to send me one and in whatever spring configuration that uh, they're sending them out now in and uh, that that they think will work with a wide variety of ammunition and the spring this one has in it is a an 04 as I understand the early ones uh, were shipped with an 03 spring the same spring that uh, the Glock 23 you know has and that it, it would not fire reliably some of the really light ammo at least for some people just depending on what the brand of ammo uh, is was and uh, and who's shooting it you know and that's always the case uh, I I mean, you, you see the postings on my site and on Glock Talk or anywhere else about somebody who is trashing Glocks. You know, they all malfunction and they wouldn't have one because they've seen the malfunction so often. It's all calibers and everywhere they go. And, you know, and I've made those comments often enough, I guess, that the, you know, I, don't, I don't have that experience. And nobody I know has that experience uh, except these folks on the Internet. And I don't know if they work for other gun companies or, or they just legitimately have problems with Glocks. Uh, and I don't know what so a limp wristing tendency they have or they're just born under the wrong star I don't know what it is but 25 years it's just not been my experience and you know I've got a bunch of Glocks but anyway I felt a little bit of an obligation to get my hands on one of these things and try it out so what I'm gonna do is try to shoot it a fair amount and in two or three videos this is the Gen 4 and I won't even go into all the, the things just very briefly because uh, you can look at my Glock 23 comparison or the Glock 22 videos and you know where I talk about the differences in the Gen 4 and the Gen 3 you know you've got the larger mag release button you got the textured frames kind of nice replaceable back straps and and you know the stronger spring and the different spring uh, and all that and and of course it's made a little bit differently I've gone into all that how you can't just put the uh, gen 3 springs in these slides and, and all that so you can look at my other videos and probably some other people's too and, and uh, get a review of that if you want to this is a gen 4 gun my main goal with this gun I've shot a lot of Glock 19s in videos and will continue because I, I really enjoy them but uh, this is the gen 4 uh, I want to shoot it and see test a lot of ammo and just see how it does with a variety of ammo okay now, I'm glad it has the, the 04 spring in it. As I understand, that's a little bit lighter than the 03. And so we'll see what it does. Uh, if it's simply a matter, if these problems are real, and it's simply a matter of getting a different spring, well, so be it. Maybe, maybe Glock did flub up and they put a spring in it that's not strong, or it's too strong. You know, it's a little bit too tight. I don't know. It happens, maybe. I have talked to people with the 03 spring that have not had any trouble. But one of the things about shooting is I've communicated with various people that I've talked to on, online and Glock and, and other places. You know, we, uh, people that just like to shoot a lot, they go to Walmart or they go wherever and get the least expensive ammunition they can buy, especially 9mm. Things like the, here's some Remington 115 grain, uh, Federal uh, 9mm, uh, 115 grain, White Box, the UMC, uh, MagTech. There's a lot of ammo. Uh, it's silly to go shoot 
$20 ammo if you can avoid it for just planking at things like we're about to do here. So what I want to do in this video is just get it started and shoot it. See if it shoots. <laughs> All right, see if it'll feed something. And what I understand, the UMC is not the strongest ammo, but it's not the lightest. And uh, what I'm going to do later, after we've shot a little bit, uh, as I understand, this is the culprit as much as any ammo. This Federal 9mm Luger is one of the very lightest, uh, what do I call it? Well, yeah, 9mm Luger. This is one of the lightest brands uh, out there. Uh, so I want to shoot a little bit before I try that. Okay, I'm, I'm going to give it be, a, be fair with the gun. Let's break it in a little bit. And uh, I don't know how if this is all that much hotter. Now what I've got in here and in the magazines is a UMC Remington. We just picked that up today at Walmart. All right, so we're going to shoot that. And I might shoot one other, I might shoot a little bit of this, uh, the white box, before we uh, give it up today. But uh, mainly, I just want to try it out. And uh, like I said, I thought it'd be cool to just start it on video. Uh, have the camera rolling on the first shot with this gun. All right. And uh, this will be live. will not be any editing. If we have any problems, you'll know. Or with which ammo that we have the problems with. All, right. All I've done to the gun... Actually, uh, when I got it a week and a half ago, I guess, I uh, took it apart and uh, I remove any oil that the factory has on there, which is not much, and I uh, ballast saw it and, uh, you know, so, so we're comparing apples to apples because I shoot all my guns with ballastol, ballistol, I guess some people pronounce it, but uh, so I just, I want the same lube, so, so I can't blame it on the lube. I can't say, well, now my guns function just fine. It's probably the lube that they put on at the factory. So we won't have that as an issue. It's, uh, it's what I always shoot, all right? Whether it's an AR-15 or, or a Glock. So with no further delay, let us get our ears on here. And we're doing this right here at the uh, kind of rush hour. People coming home with our loud mufflers, but uh, we're gonna get loud ourselves. We've got a variety of things set up here. We're just gonna have some fun shooting, all right? I might, uh, well, I don't know if I'll do it right away, but I might do a little weak-handed shooting, uh, you know, because people tend to have malfunctions when they shoot weak-handed sometimes because they don't have the, the same uh, strength in their grip and all that sort of thing, but I just wanna give it a fair test and just see how it does with a variety of ammo and let the chips fall. Yep, I didn't bring any uh, mag pouches. That's all right. We'll work from the table here. All right. We set up several things here. Uh, well, I don't know what to shoot first. All kinds of neat toys. Well, we've got a new uh, swinger here. Let's try that first. Felt like less recoil <laughs> for one thing. I've been shooting my Glock 23 a fair amount in the, the Gen 4 and the Gen 3 and everything, but uh, I wasn't used to that light. I wasn't ready for the light recoil. Plus, with 9mm, I generally shoot, as you probably know already, uh, 147 grain bullets. That's what I prefer. So I don't shoot 115 grain bullets very often at all. So I have to figure out where to hold with these babies. kind of fun. That's a new target idea we had. Uh, So far, so good. Let's go gong hunting. I don't know where to hold with these light bullets, but we'll figure it out. Oh, 
Got a malfunction. You know what? One of those felt really light to me. And that one didn't quite get out, did it? Okay, so that's UMC. So we'll see how it goes. All right. Got a few more rounds in there. You know, we have a cinder block down here. I don't know why we're shooting a cinder block with 9 millimeter, 115, 15 grain ammo, but eh, stranger things have happened. We've probably done stranger things. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Actually chewed it up a little bit. I thought it would take more than that. All right, with our last mag here in this go round, let's. Uh, I don't know if these will knock animals over or not. I'll try a couple. Like I say, I don't shoot light bullets like this. Oh well, knocked them over. Can't worry about that. All right, so that was the first test of uh, two, four, six, eight magazines full of ammunition. So let's load up a couple more on this first test, and uh, I'll shoot a few more times. I guess that uh, that hang-up was at uh, I don't know, was that about three, four magazines? Uh, I tell you what, about three, four rounds before that one hung up. I don't know if you can tell from the video, we'll kind of look at it as we uh, play it back, but I felt one just felt really weak, like uh, I was surprised it didn't, uh, that it functioned. Uh, and then it was a couple later, so I don't know, I don't know. Can't blame it on the ammo, maybe, uh, I, you know, I just don't know. We're just going to shoot it and see what happens. You guys will have to be the judge. Uh, if you have a lot of experience with uh, UMC, this particular ammo and you find that it's uh, inconsistent and that you have an occasional malfunction in your Gen 3 Glock 19s or something, I don't know, let me know. Or if you shoot this ammo and you never have any trouble with it, you've uh, never had a malfunction or found, discovered a lighter round or anything, you know, throw it into the mix. So. But as far as I know, that was right there. And with the first uh, two or three mags this uh, gun's ever fired. And generally speaking, Glocks don't need a break-in period. Uh, maybe the Gen 4s do. I, actually, I believe I have read that. Uh, guys on Glock Talk talking about it. I've checked out a few threads over the I don't know, last year. I, or whatever, six months, however long the gun's been out. I've read a little bit of that. About some folks that have shot some and then it's done fine after they've shot a few hundred rounds. But, you know, generally speaking, Glocks just don't need a break-in period. It's been my experience. It's the one gun I would almost trust right out of the box. Okay, so a few more here. And we'll blast him out. And that's one of the reasons I just wanted to shoot today. We got this 250-round pack and it's, I just wanted to get it broken in. Shoot a lot of rounds. Or at least a fair number. And you can tell more about it. I guess even with a Glock, it's not something to uh, consider too catastrophic if you have a problem, you know, really early on. I don't know. A little disturbing. All right. What we're going to do in uh, the next video that we do. Uh, is uh, and if I shoot it between now and then, I'll let you know. Okay, 
uh, how many rounds of fire and what I fired. I don't know if I'll shoot it or not. I may not. I may just do all the shooting on video. And uh, we're going to try to get all oh, four, five, or six different brands of ammo. Okay. And, uh, and just test all of it and see how it does. All right. So let's shoot a little bit more here. All right. It's pretty good. Feels good, my trigger finger is getting tired. I think I'll give it a break after that. So, look for us to come back to you with a uh, another video with it and a variety of ammunition. Glock 19, Gen 4. We will we'll give it a thorough testing for you, okay? So, glad you came out to range today. Hickok 45 saying, life is good.